artificial, and we don't really know what it, intelligence is. So uh, making the topic very hard to describe. If you can see here, does anybody recognize one of these gentlemen? Michael Jordan. And on the left is Michael I. Jordan. Uh, Michael I. Jordan is one of the founding fathers of uh, machine learning. So they call him the Michael Jordan of artificial intelligence. Um, <laughs> but he was born before Michael Jordan, so we can say Michael Jordan is the Michael I. Jordan of basketball, just to get that straight. Um, so, I mean, how do you define artificial intelligence? Uh, there's phrases that go around such as machines with minds, or that AI is what hasn't been done yet. But um, you can say AI is intelligence demonstrated by machines. Intelligent agents are any system that perceives its environment and takes actions that maximize its chance of achieving its goals. I'm not very satisfied with that, but it's an ever-developing field. And um, intertwining it with ethics, which I think is an even harder field to kind of pinpoint, um, there's been a lot of discussion of what are ethics, what are the standards of right conducts, what are morals. And to me, it feels like there's two separations. You can look at ethics as um, kind of a code of conduct. And morals, to me, feels like more of um, what you personally feel is right for you or society wants for it. So it's kind of a universal versus a local um, combination. So combining this vague term of AI and vague term of ethics is going to be very difficult. Um, is anybody familiar with Isaac Asimov? Yes? OK. Science fiction writer. And um, if I can just have a time check at 5 and 10 minutes, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, so Asimov's law of robotics is one of the first kind of standards of what robots should do. Um, it comes from the inspiration for iRobot of Will Smith, very famous actor. And um, the first law is a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Uh, second law is a robot must obey the orders given to it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. And the third law is a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. There's also a zeroth law, which is to uh, allow a robot not to damage humanity as a whole. I kind of parallel it to Buddhism, where uh, one of the first uh, sections is um, the, all life is suffering, which the zeroth law would be there is suffering. You have to make that assumption. So much of what um, Asimov does is to um, basically show what the loopholes are in this, uh, in this field and show how the laws kind of fall apart. And in, in today's ethics, especially with um, Omohundro, Omohundro kind of talks about the basic AI drives and how uh, there may be loopholes for self-preservation and otherwise. So, um, oh yeah, of course, faith and danger. A lot of people in technology um, seem to have faith that we're going to solve all of humanity's problems. 